Hey, what's up guys? Today's recipe is all about carrots. And with them, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this silky smooth carrot soup with a sprinkle of crispy sweet Vaduvan granola right on top. So let's dive into the recipe. The first thing you wanna tackle is of course the carrot soup. So you're gonna rinse and cut all the carrots into thin slices. And of course, the thinner you go, the faster it's all gonna cook. Next, you're gonna get a two quart sauce pot or a small stock pot on medium to high heat. Add a drizzle of olive oil along with the quartered onion, a garlic clove, and the carrots. After that, add in the cumin powder, give it a quick stir, then pour the water right over the simmering veggies just to cover. Allow this to simmer for one to one and a half hours or until the carrots are extremely tender. While the carrot soup base is bubbling away, you can whip up the crispy sweet Vaduvan granola. So in a non-stick baking tray or pan, add in the rolled oats along with the Vaduvan spice, which is basically a French interpretation of a curry spice mixture. Then add a drizzle of honey over the top of that, then a small pinch of salt and give it a good mix until the oats are completely coated in the honey and spices. Once that's done, you're gonna put this into a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 10 to 15 minutes until they are a solid golden brown or even a dark golden brown. All right, so now that the soup base is very tender and ready to be pureed, transfer the base to a blender and puree on high speed until very, very smooth. It should turn a few shades lighter when this happens because of the air being whipped into the soup along with some of the oil being emulsified. It always ends up turning slightly mangoish in color, but a very beautiful orange nonetheless. Once it's blended, you could of course strain it if you feel like there's any lumps left over in the uh, puree. Uh, but you're going to return it to the same pot, put it back on very, very low heat just to keep it hot in the meantime. Uh, but this is also a good time to taste your soup for salt and any finishing touches before you plate. Okay, so now that everything's ready to plate, you're gonna grab a small bowl, uh, preferably one that's quickly preheated in the oven to maintain the soup's warmth. Uh, then you're gonna carefully ladle the steaming carrot soup into your dish, top it with a handful or so of the crispy sweet granola, and finally a quick drizzle of olive oil and some cracked black pepper. And that's it, smoking hot savory carrot soup with a little love from Morocco, a drizzle of honey, and a crispy granola finish. Well, that was fun. Carrot soup is done. It looks absolutely amazing. The color uh, that comes from these beautiful carrots is just, it's so cool and so natural. And uh, it's just a very, I don't know, it's a, it's a hearty, but very simple soup to make. And it kind of brings, I don't know, some warmth to the soul and heart. I love making carrot soup. I love making soups. This came out beautiful. I'm really excited about it. I'm gonna dive into it, take a few bites of this and uh, tell you guys how it tastes. So let me dig in. Super hot. Mm. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. The granola is super crispy. I don't know if you can hear the crunch. It has a little, little bit of sweetness from the honey that pairs perfectly with carrots. Honey and carrots are just a, a wonderful combination and just almost any root vegetable pairs well with honey. The Vaudavon spice, wow, just adds a beautiful savory element to this that is um, unique, but also, I don't know, just, you know, packed full of flavor. Really, really good. Mm. I would say the only thing 
that's missing in this is maybe a little bit of acidity. If you want to add maybe a squeeze of an orange, that could be pretty good. Even maybe a little bit of white wine vinegar or a splash of uh, sherry vinegar would make this, you know, sort of highlight all the flavors that are already going on in this. But all in all, great soup, super simple to put together, and all the ingredients per person are, um, are under a dollar. So some of you guys were confused with how that whole breakdown worked, and as long as you divide it based on the servings and you make sure that you're looking at the cost of ingredients from a per serving perspective, then you can get pretty close to that um, margin of error or that dollar number. Obviously, it's gonna fluctuate depending on where you live and the produce that you get and the things that you have to import. Um, into your country or state or uh, wherever you live. But yeah, it can fluctuate a little bit, but for the most part, this is pretty much very close to a dollar per serving or under a dollar per serving. Um, if you guys wanna check out the uh, charity that I'm supporting during September, make sure you check the description box. It'll have all the links that you wanna check out. And I'm really excited to see um, sort of what's left over um, in my weekly food budget. It's gonna be kind of a test. It's gonna be for a great cause and I'm excited to start it. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you thumbs up this video. Comment down below for uh, future video requests, things you want to see on my channel. Subscribe at the end, and I will see you guys next time. Later.